everyone appreciates this, I broke open my secret stash of seeds. Wow. Oh yeah! Hey, what's going on everybody? And for today's video, we will be going over the animated series known as Ham Taro. <laughs> Is this some kind of twisted joke? No, this isn't no joke. So, sit back and relax, and let's all hopefully learn a little more about the classic show, Hamtaro. Everything started with a writer by the name of Retsuko Kawai. Now, Kawai was not your regular type of girl. She was a really big fan of hamsters. She loved writing novels and essays with anything to do hamster related. If it involved hamsters, hey, then she was all for it. She would also go on to write novels depicting the adventures of a hamster named Hamtaro and the adventures that Hamtaro and his friends would go on. And this was the first step of Hamtaro coming closer to having his very own TV show. Seriously? Kawaii would later go on to create the manga known as The Adventures of Hamtaro that lasted for four volumes, in which the first three would all be translated to English and a fourth volume that remained only in Japanese. And a couple years later, an anime was created and based off of our fourth manga. The animated show of Hamtaro was pitched as a show loosely based around hamsters in a pet shop that would play games at night after the store had closed for the day. Wow. Obviously, this premise was changed in the long run, but I think it ended up working out for the better. The first episode of Hamtaro would go on to air on July 7th of the year 2000. This was your idea. The show was animated by the studio known as TMS Entertainment, being more commonly known for doing the animation for the shows like the cult classics of Detective Conan, D. Grayman, Sonic X, and the Bakugan series. The show of Hamtaro lasted for a span of 12 seasons, with 296 being created in total, with 105 of them end up being dubbed over and brought over to the US for the rest of the world to see. And that's when Hamtaro would make its premiere on the animation block known as Toonami. Soon after its premiere, it wasn't long before this orange and white hamster was a worldwide phenomenon around the world, making thousands upon thousands of fans in the process. The show was a slice of life type of anime, with being predominantly dominated by all the hamsters and all the different unique characteristics that each hamster carried. And each of these hamsters would be using their very different and unique abilities to all come together to form a strong family from many backgrounds. And just have lots and lots of wild and crazy adventures as they learn more about the human society that they all just try to coexist with. They're garbage! Treasure, so let's make a hat. Each episode would normally center around Hamtaro or other hamsters, and after his owner Laura left the house, he would go out on many adventures with him and his other hamster friends that he had made friends with throughout the shows thus far. Hamtaro. Characters. <laughs> Did this show have some characters? Man, there was lots of characters in the show. Along with the star of the show, Hamtaro, you also had his friends of Dexter, Oxnard, Bajoo, Howdy, Cappy, Pashamina, Penelope, Jingle, Maxwell, Snoozer, Panda, Elder Ham Ham, the man Boss, plus many more. Also, you had his human friend, Laura, but eh, she ain't too important. So, uh, I got nothing to say about her. Wow. Though the show was most of the time all about having fun and just watching a bunch of cute hamsters jump around and play and have fun in the sun and learn about everyday things that humans go through, sometimes this show would get pretty serious, like dealing with the idea of a personal loss. Hey, like in that episode, when Hamtaro goes missing, man, and the owner's heart is just left shattered on the floor. But wouldn't you know it, by the end of that heart-wrenching episode, Hamtaro and his owner, Laura, would once again be reunited. And that, that's a moment that I just will never forget. Hey, 
Hey, and who can forget that super catchy theme song? Watch out for those cats, you know they're smarter than you think. But if we work together, we can make their plan sink. Woo! Hey, we work together, it's much better. Ham Tyro, wop bum bum bum, cause we are ham friends. Ham Tyro. And there you go, that's kind of how the song went, you know, I'm just from my memories of how the Hamtaro song just really slapped ass. It was so good like that. Hey, but once you hear the theme song, the only bad thing you might have of just how hard it is to get the song of Hamtaro out of your head. Also, speaking of credits, the ending credits was just so pleasant to listen to as well. I mean, would you just listen to this soothing and enchanting melody being sung? It's just so majestic. Look at all that joy feel just inside of Hamtaro. The show of Hamtaro was just a real special treat to behold. The show knew what it was and it was just going to try to be the best it could at being that. The Hamtaro franchise also released a wide variety of games as well, though most of them being for the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance respectively. With most of these games coming out in the early 2000s, the three that I was most familiar with were Hamtaro, Ham Ham Heartbreak, Hamtaro Ham Ham Games, and Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue. With Hamtaro Ham Ham Games being my most favorite due to all the stuff you can do in the game, there was hamster racing, there was hamster tennis, rhythm games, quizzes, and just many more. It was somewhat similar to playing a watered down version of Pokemon Stadium 2's mini games, but it was still a pretty chill game all around. So when you break it all down, the show of Hamtaro was mainly about hamsters being overly top cute and talking and going on lots of fun, wacky, cool adventures of excitement. Believe it! I for one will always remember the show of Hamtaro as being a joyful experience. Hey, tell me, what did you guys think of the show Hamtaro? Did you have a favorite ham ham? So yeah, remember to drop a like or whatever and you know hit that notification bell so you get notified with new content and videos. I'll see you guys next time and remember to stay awesome and take care. Corey out! Peace!